I mean, theoretically, we could go to our Argentavis. Lord. I thought it was clearing. Not getting worse. night vision goggles. Yeah, this part's not fun. single player. Should probably look to go in and remove it. These two. Yeah, you need some. You need some. <sighs> you stuck on anybody? Can't even tell if they're stuck on anybody. This is lasting way too dang long. This is not... still stuck to one another. Okay, um... We got 
twelve hundred in there. Yeah, we got twelve hundred in there. That was a long fog long cloud. Getting hit with that, it might take us the rest until you know, normal 4:30 in stream just to get this. Uh, but that's basically what we're doing for the rest of the, the stream is just hopefully getting the tech replicator, putting on top of the. I think I'm gonna put it right on top of the, the base. Is it big? It's three by three. I'm pretty sure it's big. I don't know if you need a generator for it. I've never used it before. So I don't know if you need to put element in it or like run or what have you. I think we do have everything we need for um, the beta dragon. Obviously, we're not doing the beta dragon. We're doing we're doing gamma as soon as we can. Uh, but it's kind of cool to think that we can do. Uh, <laughs> eventually, what I'll do is. Is everything that you need for each one of the boss, every like uh, all the different trophies. The easiest way to the easiest way that I know to do it is build like a little fighting pen with a breeding station on it, and then you basically set your dinos to aggressive against anything that's not yours, and just birth, you know, like uh, Brontos and stuff like that. Just Keep yourself a nice, you know, stock of Bronto eggs. And, um, or be ready to make a lot of Bronto eggs and just grab them and kill them. Is one, you know, that's one way you can do it. Obviously, the, the next way, the Brontos are a bad example. Brontos are pretty, and then, and that kind of stuff, it's pretty easy to find, so you don't really need to do it that way, but. Some of the stuff's pretty hard to find. Especially because you need so much element that... You know, if you're going to build out of it. Uh, how much is... Uh, that's 20, 40. Each foundation is one. So just this little house right here would cost us 100 elements to put down foundation. So, now granted, at the higher levels, you get a lot more. Element, right? So, like uh, the Megapithecus at Alpha, you get 2200. Broodmother, you get 148. Really? For Alpha, she gives the least amount of, of element. She's supposed to be the first boss? See, I always thought the Broodmother was the first boss. She is the first boss. And Megapithecus is the second boss, which is why he gives you more element and better recipes. And then the dragon, being the the star of the show, gives 440. Um, 
gives double what the Megapithecus gives you. Probably because you need Giga Hearts and, you know, how many? You need two Giga Hearts, right? For the dragon. Yeah, two uh, Giga Hearts. Um. Uh, all the rest of the stuff is actually pretty easy to get. We've got before. We got about half of it loaded up. Um, but yeah, you need UD lungs, Tyrannosaurus arms, squid tech uh, tentacles, which we have a lot of those. Allosaurus brains. In the block. Brings up to three thousand on the dot. Again, we need five thousand metal. Although I might look at getting the industrial grinder too this week. Um, so we can take down stuff because I, I really, really want to get organized. Um, find out what we've got versus what we need. And then we don't need, just get rid of. Um, and put it in the industrial grinder. And the industrial grinder will fit back out a portion of their raw materials that they were made out of. So it's actually quite nice. When you were using when you were using S plus, you had to have the grinder uh, because certain things needed sap, um, and you couldn't or not sap. I needed cactus, and you couldn't get cactus without converting it in the industrial grinder in the S plus mod. And being on the island, I guess I should specify. So. I'm already in build mode in my head too. Trying to figure out how far can I go over. I can go left pretty far. I'm walking into a cloud that I can't. I'm not gonna be able to do anything in. Um I think I've got a way that uh, I want to build it that should look pretty pretty decent. I'm going to be incorporating stone and wood foundations throughout the whole. So obviously the outside is going to be all stone, but the interior will be a mix of wood and uh, where the animal pens are at, where I'm going to be keeping like all my tames. Those will be actually thatched foundations. So it'll look like hay. So it sh should look like hay. Might not look like hay. But it should look like
Yeah, because you'd need 40 on the dot. 40 slots just for the organic palm. Well, we're not going to have that anyway. Mm -hmm. I gotta build regular polymer. Luckily, this is the, this is the only tech thing we have to build here. And eventually, like I said, we'll get the tech storage. And the tech storage, basically, once you put it in there, you can access it from anywhere. I think, it's got a, I think it's got a pull distance, but it pulls things right from the inventory. So it's really, really nice. So when you're building things, you don't have to worry about going and grabbing it and picking it up and stuff like that. You just... There. But I like... That's what I, I need to get prepped for. Like I said, usually we did the S plus stuff, um, which allowed us to pull resources into the crafting benches that we were working on. Now that S plus isn't there, we're gonna need to, to use those tech ones. And the tech ones are, are kinda nice, they're big. So, it, you know, if I'm comparing it to the S plus stuff, the S plus had uh, 90 inventory. Large storage chests. Uh, that you could pull things to and from. Tech ones, so you, you know, obviously you guys have seen the size of a storage crate, or of, of, you know, storage chest. The tech ones are one width long, half a width wide, and half high storage or yeah so that's its dimensions and it can hold a hundred whereas these guys only hold uh, 45 so which uh, homework do I have now I don't have 800 but You only get one out of this. Cementy paste is gonna be not fun to get. We gotta build polymer by hand. I gotta do this. cementing paste cooking walls were doing all this and luckily I know where there's obsidian so it's not like obsidian is going to be hard to get it's just you don't get a lot of it for 36 that's 30, 34 13 stacks Stone. <clears throat> 
So you need two stone for every uh, item. Boom. Uh, so we had three grand, so we had 3,600. this one. But again, like I said, I want to build the new I want to build the new base with that in mind. Where it's like, okay. That was right. We got enough to make all the polymer we need. At least cementing base one. We do not have the obsidian. It's 1600. So 16 stacks of obsidian. No, no, technically we're only 15 now. And I'd like to have a load unload little thing for the RGs and anything else. So wherever I put the storage slash building area. Um, I like to have a little little thing. Actually, <clears throat> I might just try to build it big enough that I can just move any creature I want up and down the, uh, the aisles. You don't know. Depends on how much you want. It'd be nice to have the ability to just walk whatever we want in there. That's gonna take a behemoth game. Which I wish they had a, a behemoth wide game with like two stories high. You know? Like it so gotta be eight stories high because it's behemoth. You know what I mean? Actually, I wish there was one between large and behemoth. But it's it's just six. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how much did I say I have? I gotta have forty two hundred up there. So three stacks, and I should be good. <laughs> and then we gotta go get obsidian. So there's some obsidian up there. There's some obsidian down the coast. Uh, there's obsidian on the big... ...mountain. We'll, we'll be able to get it. 15 stacks worth, though. Grab our best Ankylosaur and hope for the best. Well, technically we only need 14 stacks, because we have almost a full stack to sit down. 
Uh, wait, they stack to 200, don't they? I need 700 polymer. That's what I'm sure. My, it's the, like the 1400. So 700 polymer, 1400 obsidian, and we got. So I need 1300 obsidian. 13 and some change. Alright, guys, let's take our final break of the day. Uh, and then when we get back, we'll, we're going to keep trying to get this uh, tech replicator uh, built. So, see you guys back in five.